Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel for an updated antique booth tour. A huge thank you to Simply to Impress for sponsoring a portion of today's video. My booth is all set for Christmas, so I wanted to make sure that you guys saw all of the new inventory and everything that we have set up for the Christmas season. So let's just get right into our booth tour. All right guys, welcome back to my booth, Green Onion Vintage. Today I am going to be showing you my booth at my treasure house in Edwardsville, Illinois. This is a shop that is a mix of vintage and new items and handmade crafts and refinished furniture, antique furniture, a little bit of everything at this point. Um, I will say COVID took a real hit on our shopping and we're still just kind of coming back from that and every month has been a little bit different for us. We had a really good um, fall and then it kind of got slower again, but then we're picking back up again for Christmas. So we are definitely in full-fledged Christmas mode at this point. It seems like shoppers are a little bit uh, more interested in buying Christmas even earlier than normal this year, which is okay because we tend to have a little bit more Christmas inventory than fall anyway. So it was just a matter of bringing that in and making sure that our booth was nice and stocked for Christmas because people are already ready to buy Christmas. It's a couple days before Thanksgiving, so that's not too unusual, but it was really starting at the beginning of no November and even the end of October that we were ready to get our Christmas sales going and people were already buying then. So you're going to see in my booth, I do have a few pieces that are stragglers from the fall. Um, and that's mostly me just trying to give them an, a last chance to sell before I have to take them out of the booth and then store them for the rest of the year. I really don't like putting things in storage, but I would rather hold on to it for the year and try again next year rather than um, donate it or discount it at a very great price where I would probably lose money at the end of the day. So I do have like a few pumpkins in here, um, but just the ones that look a little bit festive at least. So hopefully it doesn't throw off the eye too much considering it is definitely Christmas time now and we are moving on from pumpkins. Um, that little bottle brush tree in a mug I just showed you, that is something I crafted recently and I'm going to have a full video coming up on all of my bottle brush tree crafts. Um, because I really enjoyed working with those this year. And now we just have an assortment of vintage and antique ornaments. I can't remember if my mom marked the tree for sale also, but there's been years where we've sold trees that are undecorated, trees that are decorated, and then had trees that are not for sale and only sold the ornaments. So we do just a mixture every year depending on what works best for our booth and just what we have on hand. This red piece of furniture is still available. Um, I think I show the price here at $2.75 for that chest of drawers. It's a really pretty color and that actually works great for Christmas. So we're not too eager to sell that right away because it looks so good with the Christmas colors. Before I move on, I wanna say a big thank you to simplyimpress.com for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Simplytoimpress.com is a website that offers one of a kind stationery for any occasion. Their products are super easy to customize and they're at a fair price with a very quick turnaround. So I was able to just jump onto their website, choose a Christmas card this season that worked for our family. I was hoping for something that had four images so that I could use a family photo and then a little slot for each of my boys. So this one actually worked out perfectly. And it literally took me minutes to just fill out this card and customize it perfectly for my family. Luckily, we had professional photos this year, but we don't always have professional photos. It is so okay to just use photos from your phone. I'm sure you have thousands that you could choose from if you're anything like me. And then once you have your images in, you just have to update your text to say literally whatever you want. You're able to customize everything. And then just within a few days, Simply to Impress had shipped me all of my cards and they came out so cute. They are matte cardstock, but they're nice and thick. And I love that they had the little cutout edges and then the back has a really pretty pattern, but I'm also gonna have space back there to write a message to anybody that I send these to. And then in addition to that, they have um, envelope choices. So I covered up my address with a piece of tape here, but they do the return address for you on the back of the envelope. And this one, you can even choose to have like gold or a certain color inside the envelope. So they came together so nicely, super quick process to choose everything that you wanted to add to the card. And for my viewers, if you use the code Green Onion Vintage 22, you get 35% off your card order with free shipping. 
and one free ornament, just like this one that I ordered for a gift for a family member. So that is such a great deal. So once again, check out simplytoimpress.com if you need something custom for a Christmas card or a really cute gift. I cannot believe that this East Lake dresser is still in our booth. I love the bleach look of it. This is a piece that my mom refinished um, with my dad probably also. They're both really good at getting those old finishes off and getting it back down to the bare wood. So I think it's very on trend right now to have this bleached out wood effect. I cannot believe it's still here, but I'm sure it will sell soon. Um, so on top here, we just have a big assortment of vintage Christmas statues, um, even a little nativity scene. Now, I know a lot of you um, like to remind me that it's typically vintage that I'm showing you and not antique, and sometimes they're not even vintage yet. So I know I use those words a little bit too interchangeably, so I apologize for that. But I do believe that most of the things you're looking at here are at least vintage. Um, and my mom has that one there marked for only $8. So just a wide variety of price ranges here. We really try to have a little bit for everybody who comes and shops in our booth. Um, as much as we try to stay on one style, we do try to mix up our price points also and just the sizes of our items. So we try to have something that's very small and easy for you to grab as well as all the way up to a very large, heavy piece of furniture. So just a little bit for everybody. I'm giving you a look at a few more of those bottle brush tree crafts including these like smaller trees in different canisters and uh, the trees I put in that red truck so I definitely had a lot of miniature tree projects to work on this season I just feel like I had a collection of trees that I needed to do something with and so I tried to find a lot of vintage pieces that I would be able to use to hold different Christmas trees so I have an assortment of different things that I found um, thrift shopping. So this long box included in that discussion. Um, so I made this more like a centerpiece, but really I was just kind of looking around my house and looking at thrift shops and yard sales and estate sales for cool little pieces that I could use to hold Christmas trees when this time of year came around because I knew I had a lot of trees on hand and I know that bottle brush trees are very in style. So I definitely focused on that this year, I would say for my Christmas crafts. I don't have a ton of time to be crafting right now, um, but the ones that I have done, I feel like are very on trend, like I said, but they're also using vintage pieces and just reusing older pieces that people might not use, um, such as this basket you can see right now in the shot and that little wooden bowl. So really just trying to reuse things in a way that makes them more decor instead of just clutter in your house or just something you don't know what to do with. So you end up donating it. I like to find those things that people have donated and then give them a new purpose. I stopped to show you this copper kettle for a long time because we've had this one on hand forever and there was a day in our antique booth when something like this would have sold within a few days we just like we're selling copper kettle after copper kettle this one is so cool it's a little oversized um, and it's just been in our booth for ages and I don't know why this one hasn't sold it's not any less good than any other ones we've sold but we've definitely had trends like that where something will sell and then we will keep selling them, keep offering them, and then all of a sudden they will just not sell anymore. And I really love that kettle especially, so I'm kind of just curious why those things happen. 
it, I mean, I know that Joanna Gaines brought the kettle look back for a while. Not the kettle look, but the copper. So she was really big into copper for quite a while. I don't know if that was helping people move along, but actually um, we had a collector come in a few times to get some copper pieces. So I don't know. I don't know why, but we still have this one awesome big kettle for $45. I think we'd probably be willing to ship it if it was something you guys were interested in because it's a really, really cool piece. Um, and then I'm just finishing up here in our back corner of our booth. We have more Christmas to see back here, lots of layers. And then some of my fallish signs that I shared with you on my channel, they're just kind of still here hanging out. I don't know why. Like I said, times change and there was a time when these would have sold within days also. Um, I feel like I, I keep talking about COVID, but I feel like it really just halted all of our sales that we normally would have. Like my signs and stuff, they used to sell like crazy and then the stuff just kind of slowed down. So I don't know. We're trying to just kind of figure out what to do next and what types of things are going to sell next. And it's just a learning process all the time. I don't think there's ever one right answer, but that is our booth right now for November 2022. Looking right into Thanksgiving gearing up for Christmas. Definitely looking forward to the holiday season. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this booth tour and if you are ready for Christmas or not because it is definitely Christmas time. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I appreciate you spending some time with me. Thanks again to Simply to Impress for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys have a really great Thanksgiving weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye.